Hi, it's Amy here, your Mac mentor with a tech tip on iCloud. We get a lot of questions about iCloud and syncing, so I'm going to give you the quick version of how to properly sync your devices with iCloud. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is open up system preferences on your Mac. And the first thing you see is at the top, you should see your name. And if you don't have your name here, that means you just need to log in with your Apple ID or iCloud account. So I'm going to click Apple ID. And if you're already logged in, you will see your name and email here. This is your Apple ID that's associated with iCloud on this device. Now, you'll also want to open up your settings on your iPad or iPhones and go to the top where it has your name again. And the first thing you want to do is double check that it is the same email address. So you're using the same iCloud account on both devices. Next, you can look at all the checkboxes that are available here for what you can sync. And for each device that you want these items on, you just check the box. Now, if you have iCloud Drive and you choose Options, we have a variety of different things that synchronize with iCloud Drive. Most importantly, desktop and documents folders. If you have this checked, this will synchronize your desktop and documents from your Mac to your other devices via iCloud. And this can be really convenient if you share documents across different devices or you want to be able to access them. Keep in mind, however, that if you have a lot of information on your desktop, then that will fill up your storage and you may have to pay for additional iCloud storage if you have that turned on. So keep that in mind as well as with photos. So photos is also very convenient. You can have your entire library synchronized across all your devices in iCloud. And when you check this box here, as well as your other devices, you will see at the bottom of your storage um, how much of the storage is used by photos. So this is going to be substantial as well. The other items don't really take up a lot of space. So if you're concerned about um, using too much space on iCloud and you want to keep the free account, I would recommend you do not sync photos or iCloud Drive, but any of the other ones that you want to use should be fine. Um, one of the important things is the keychain, which stores all of your stored passwords or your saved passwords in iCloud. So if you have your keychain checked, you can use iCloud to store your passwords securely. And then Find My Mac is also very important. So you do want this turned on uh, for your phone, your iPad, and your Mac. You will need location services enabled so that that will work. And this allows you to find your devices on a map if you ever misplace them or if it's stolen. This also secures your device from someone else being able to um, reuse it, basically. Once it's connected with your Apple ID, then it becomes very difficult for anyone to um, reuse that device as their own. So once you have all of your checkboxes that you want for each device, then you should see things start to sync up and you'll have a good idea of what items live in which devices and how much iCloud storage you use for each one. So that's the quick version. If you have other questions about how to utilize iCloud with your devices, please make an appointment with us at mymacmentor.com. We offer memberships that we can work individually with you online or via our classes that we have every day. So we hope to see you there and I'll see you next time.